Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa. I'm a 45 year old single person currently living in the Northern Virginia area. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping back by. I really appreciate it. Today, I'm gonna to show you what I got with my $30 weekly grocery budget and I shopped at Walmart. All right, well, my meal plan is pretty simple this week and I'll just kind of show you guys what I got and then I'll tell you guys what I plan to do with all this stuff. All right, over here I have two of these um, coffee creamers. These are the Great Value, they're sugar-free and French vanilla. These are $1.84 a piece, so $3.68 for two. Then I have some almond milk. This is the unsweetened almond milk, and this was $1.84. Then I have two of these containers of cottage cheese. These are each 24 ounces. I never used to like cottage cheese, but I am loving it. So I am really excited to have this. I got some at Giant a few weeks ago and I tore through the container. It was just, I don't know, I never had a taste for it. Now I do. So each one of these containers was $1.64. So $3.28 for both of them. And then I've got some provolone sliced cheese. There are 12 slices in here. This is just, again, the Walmart brand, and um, this was $1.84. Also, a uh, Walmart Great Value brand is Frozen Beef Burgers. This is the 80-20. There's 12, 12 in here, and this was $8.92. Then I've got two cans of chickpeas. These were $0.58 cents a piece, so $1.16 for both. Two cans of sweet peas. These are 50 cents a piece, and I got two, so there's a dollar. Next, I've got some baby carrots, and these are 98 cents for, this is a, a one pound bag. And then last are these brats. Now, this was the only substitution that I had. Um, these were supposed to be the Great Value brand, uh, you know, bratwurst, but they substituted it for Johnsonville. So I got these at $3.66 a piece, $7.32 for both. So you might look at this and think that's, I don't know, what, are, what is she going to do with all this stuff? Let me tell you. Now I've got uh, for breakfast this next week, I'm still eating through oatmeal. I have a huge container of oatmeal and I'm okay with eating the same thing every day, so I've been eating oatmeal. Then I always have my protein shakes. I've got some Vega vegan protein powder I can always whip up um, if I'm not feeling the oatmeal. Now for lunch and dinner, I have been eating through my pantry the last two weeks and I've done pretty well. I have still a lot of chicken left and I'm sick of chicken, which is why you see beef and brats <laughs> and not a whole lot of, of anything else. So I do still have chicken left in my freezer that was frozen uh, a long time ago. I make it in bulk in my Instant Pot, package it up, you know, individually and freeze it. So I, I still have a lot of that. I can always have chicken, but I thought that I could do brats with um, some kind of bean on the side. Uh, one of my um, subscribers sent me an email with a smashed chickpea recipe, which is why I got two cans of chickpeas. I've got some dry as well. I'm going to do that and then do that as a side for the brats. And then with the burgers, I have peas. I also have some, I have pinto beans. I have peas and carrots left over from last week that I didn't eat all the way through. Um, so I can do that. And then of course I've got the chicken that I can always make. Um, and of course the creamer is for coffee almond milk is for my oatmeal cottage cheese is snack the carrots are for snacking i made some homemade hummus um if you guys like hummus there is a youtube channel um the name is crocs in the kitchen and they have a super smoky hummus uh, recipe and i love it i make it all the time it's one of my favorites i prefer it over the store brought store bought brands it's oil free and salt free. So I made a ton of it with the couple cans of chickpeas I had last week. I ended up 
packaging them in individual little containers and throwing them in the freezer so that I can get them out as I need to and they won't go bad. So I have that to have with the carrots. The sliced provolone, I am just out of and I grabbed another one. I have some lunch meat still and I can do some roll-ups if I want to or I have some tortillas that were left over that I can, you know, do wraps with if, you know, if any of this other stuff gets boring and I, I get tired of eating it. Um, also for snacking, I have apples still from the other week and I have celery left over and then I've got PB fit that I can have with apples and celery. So a really simple meal plan. I don't have anything elaborate planned. I'm not going to do any batch cooking. I'm going to throw these burgers on my Foreman grill. Same thing with the brats on the Foreman grill. Super quick and easy. Even though I'm working from home, I, you know, I don't have a kitchen. This is it. I have a sink with a dirty cup and I have a counter. Behind me is a microwave. I have an instant pot. I have an air fryer, toaster oven. I do have an induction burner that I can use, but I have like individual appliances. I don't have an oven. I don't have a stove. I don't have any of that stuff. And I have a really tiny refrigerator. It's smaller than apartment size. So I can't fit a lot of food and, and veg and that kind of good stuff. So I have to do what is quick and easy that I can do with just a few appliances that I have or um, my Instant Pot. So that is a lot of talking for a $30 grocery haul. Sorry guys, my phone shut off in the middle of talking and I think I was talking about YouTube comments. So let me just say, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this, but if um, you guys have left me a comment and I haven't responded yet, I am sorry. YouTube is, um, the notifications are weird. I am only getting a few and then I'm having to go back through all comments to find which ones I'm not getting notified on. So just know that I'm trying to get back to everybody. I do my best to read each and every comment and to reply to each one. So if you had a question and I didn't respond, please, please ask it again. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day or night wherever you're at. Bye.